In this video, I will show you how to add League of Legends to Steam in 2023. So let's jump straight into it. So here we are, I've got the Steam app opened. If you do prefer to use the web-based version of Steam, follow along as these steps are the same. So what you wanna do once you've got Steam opened and you're logged into your account, you wanna come down to the bottom left-hand corner and click onto this add a game option down here. Next, go ahead and select add a non-Steam game. And this is going to load up a window like this. So what you want to do from here is just go ahead and find League of Legends. You can see I've got that here. If you can't see it on this list, just come down to browse down here. So once you've gone ahead and found League of Legends, all you want to do is tick the box next to it and then click the blue add select to programs. Now this sh should add it directly to your library. So if you now come up to the top left hand corner and click onto your library, you should now see League of Legends in your library. So you can see that's here. So you can see it's quite plain at the moment, but what we can do is change this banner. So all you need to do is right click and click on to set custom background. And as you can see, I've just added a picture of a gameplay that I downloaded. And what you can also do is right click onto the actual game icon. And if you come down and click onto properties, you can go ahead and change further things. So like the shortcuts, the name of the shortcut and things like the target path and things like that. So for example, I could just change this to lol. And you'll see that's going to update on here as well. So that's how to go ahead and add League of Legends to Steam in 2023. I hope this quick tutorial helped you out today. And if it did, I would really appreciate it. If you was to consider dropping down below the video, leaving a like and also subscribing to the channel. With that being said, I just want to take a minute to thank you guys for watching this video. And I will see you in the next tutorial.